I'm racer's Marshall Pruitt. This is the Shank and Meyer Shank racing. Michael Shank, you have some pretty awesome news coming here. We're going to be celebrating new driver coming into the team along with Tom Blomqvist, who you have already announced for 2024. This is a significant reboot for your team. Tell us about bringing in Felix and the mindset of kind of starting fresh. Yeah, so yeah, we, we've announced here that Felix Rosenquist is on a multi-year deal with us uh, going forward here, and we're super excited about it. We uh, we have had a tough year in 2023, and uh, not only from a results standpoint, but obviously we, you know we had a problem with Simon at Mid Ohio, which we're you know, which didn't end real well, and and and, and unfortunately we have to move on now. So uh, we have uh, picked up with Felix, and uh, super excited. Watched him for four or five years now. Been a part of every year he's been here with the two teams he's been with and believe he brings in a depth of uh, speed and uh, experience that we need to team with Tom. Tom's brand new to this. They're friends, they grew up together. Yeah, raised literally, together? Literally, literally together from probably in the early teens on. Uh, so they're a natural, I think, together and we're really looking forward to getting 2024 going. Felix had mentioned that they raced together, I think, as early as like 2009 too. So to your point, these two, uh, the Kvists, the all Kvist lineup that you've got here. Yeah. Tell me about this mindset going into 2024, Mike, because you still have this great technical relationship with Andretti Autosport. Yep. They've been doing well, but I know they and you and Jim Meyer want to go even higher. How do you do that? How do you get the team to where you want it to be? Well, we, we continually try to improve everything. We're, we have one more year uh, left with the Andrettis. We've, we've had a great relationship with them. It obviously got us an Indy 500 win, you know, in 2021. We've not had the year we want, but that wasn't the Andretti part. That wasn't their fault, you know. We've had a lot of unfortunate things happen, some self-induced, some not, some we couldn't control at all, like the St. Pete as an example this year when both cars got taken out and um, in turn one or two, whatever that was. So that's the indicative of the kind of year we've had. So we need to reboot and really focus on closing races. Mm. We need to start with speed, which I think we have, and we, but we need to complete it as a team. And that, mean, that, that, that seems like an easy statement, but completing a weekend and finishing a weekend is really difficult in this sport where everything is fractionalized. Every pit stop is when a half a tenth. Every lap is a half a tenth. Everything matters. It puts the car up the road, you know, 500 more feet, which usually passes a person or two, yeah. right? So we need to complete races better, and uh, we will continue to do that until we get us to where we belong. And by the way, where does that mean? expectation wise we need to be back kind of where we were which is kind of eighth to twelfth in the championship as step one we're not looking for home runs we're not looking for out of the park blast up there because yeah. that's not how this works we need to get back to where i think we deserve rightfully and then kind of work from there two more things tell me about felix <coughs> knowing that when he was driving coming in with chip ganassi racing honda loved him leaving his current team Chevy hates that they're losing him. This yeah. is a guy who, to the auto manufacturers, is a big asset. But now he has a bit of an interesting opportunity with you, Mike, where he's never been the unquestioned team leader before. Yeah. And he can also, I would think, be a bit of a mentor to Tom. Just We know Tom's great, but he has a lot to learn. What are the other aspects that Felix is bringing that you're hoping will help this team to rise? The number one thing I think we can do for Felix is make him that leader, like you said. It's, it's This is your baby. We're going to craft this to you, what mm. you want. You're not going anywhere. You're not worried about your job. That That's off to the side. You're going to make a good living. You're going to be rewarded if you do well, and we need you to be a team player. We don't need, you know, there's going to be good and bad times. You and I know that, right? There's going to be times we're mad at each other, but if we stick up for each other, we don't throw each other under the bus when things go wrong on either side, and we just keep plodding along in the back of his head knowing, I'm not getting fired, I'm here, I'm going to do my job, and I'm the number one guy, theoretically, and I'm going to help Tom come along. I think that puts Felix in a position that he hasn't necessarily been in before, and, and hopefully that just uh, takes him, him personally to another level also. That's, that's what we're hoping. Close on our guy Simon Paginot. Unfortunately, not going to be able to get back in the car during this season. Yep. I know that he's not factoring into the team's IndyCar plans going forward, but I know the two of you remain close if and when he wants to go out and do something. I got to believe your, your phone's always going to be on and willing to help him if you have the chance. Well, I, I, I will for sure. I, you know, I, I, there's no worse feeling than I have than what happened to him in one of our cars at Mid Ohio. 
so we have a little piece of that, right? So if I can help him going forward, I will for sure, whether that's here, sports car, or any other thing we end up getting into. So I don't think, I don't, by any means, I don't, he's not done with racing, but he's got to get this, this problem uh, fixed to a level where he's comfortable. The doctors say it's good to go. And there's no one more determined than him that I know of. I mean, he is a physical specimen, right? So I look forward to seeing where that goes. But unfortunately, MSR has to keep going. We have 50 people that work here full time and I'm responsible to make sure everyone's living stays going forward. Meyer Shankvist Racing coming to 2024, Get the right? Get the I got I shouldn't tell you, but I got stickers coming for you That's this perfect. Friday, That's so we're going to get you all taken care of. But these guys don't stand still. Uh, Jim Meyer, Mike Shank, they're aggressive. They want to be winning, and if they're not, they're making changes. So congratulations on this new lineup. going to be a big year ahead for Thanks. you.